Yo, what's going on guys? Turner here and welcome back to another video. So, as you can see, I'm working on Scrambler again. I got this right here. And uh, my gasket is hanging out and it ain't supposed to. So I'm gonna see if I can't fix that issue. Let me reach up here in the toolbox. I got, I got set up on the back here. Uh, that might, might be a little too rusted. It might work though. All right. Oh yeah, that's perfect. I just gotta be able to pull this dang old top piece off. A little bit of mechanic work today, folks. <laughs> I got the day off because it rained. Farm life. Not kidding. Although that really is farm life, huh? Man, I need to degrease this dang sucker. Don't want to lose that. That's very important. Don't lose your screws. When you lose your screws, you become stupid. It's like one of the dumbest things you can do is lose your screws. All right. Let's see. I really hate having a tiny ass toolbox like this. Excuse my language. I really don't like it. I really wish this little bit of water we were getting would quit falling off the dang trees. I mean, heck, I like the rain, but not that much. Dang rain can kiss my country badonkus for all I care. Okay, that's an air line there. So at the moment this is not oh no, that's fuel. That's fuel. That, that is definitely fuel. That's not a good idea to pull that off. <laughs> that is not a good idea to pull that off. Granted, I got my fuel off. It's still not a good idea. <clears throat> Shit. Shoot. Dang. Crap. <laughs> Snot. <sighs> I gotta find a way to pull that whole carburetor out then, huh? do it i've done it before i really don't want to deal with that i don't want to have to fight to get it back in it'd be nice to have something small that could actually fit in there so you can that hey no uh, can this barely but it won't turn the dang screw. It's too small. Let's see what this can do. Nothing. I got an idea. Oh yeah, a little flat tip. <laughs> dang. There you are. This thing really needs a new gasket. That's really what this damn thing needs is a new doggone gasket.
And that explains why this thing was running so lean. We're getting too much air. All right, I just stripped that screw. Oh well. Yes, yes, I do know the difference between rich and lean. Just in case y'all are ever wondering. It really didn't take too long. It was just sticking out back here and over here and a little bit back in this direction. Nothing too bad, nothing too serious. At least I got that gasket put back where it should be. The way it looked is somebody was trying to fiddle with my dang carb and failed. Perfect. So, uh, yep. Got that fixed. I'm actually gonna take a little sneak peek, sneaky peeky at my air filter. out here working on this thing So this is stuff you don't really find on YouTube with these things. Because I literally looked up a lot of this stuff that I do on YouTube. And nobody, nobody ever puts this stuff on YouTube. About these damn four wheelers. I guess it's because nobody really ever has the same problem that I have with it, with a big bear. Or, I guess it's just the fact that really, whew, nobody ever really cares to share. I was not expecting that smell. Yeah, that's not a good smell at all. It smells like gas. That's something you definitely don't want to smell coming from, that, that's something you definitely don't want coming from your uh, air box for sure is a extreme stench of gas. I don't know how to get that out other than to change the filter. Lucky for me, I've been planning on doing that for a little while. So, I might, that actually might make a pretty good video. And just changing the filter. Considering I don't really make videos with this thing that much. So, like I said, that might make a pretty, pretty darn good video. And yes, it is true what I said. Not very many people get problems out of a big bear i mean heck this is a 1987 model so think about it that way because 
I know the history behind a lot of Yamaha products. Yamaha ATV and uh, MX products. And there's one thing I know for a fact is they have a horrible, horrible reputation for constantly breaking down, tearing up. I guarantee you, if I treated any other Yamaha the same way that I treat this four-wheeler, that I've treated this four-wheeler since I've had it, since I've started dri driving it, Trust me, it would not last last as long as this thing. Anywho, that's all I got for you, for y'all guys. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.